Winning time, the rise of the Lakers dynasty, also the rise of Larry Bird. That's right. Second coming, the third episode of season two, starts off by letting us know what happened after the Lakers lost. If you remember what happened in the last episode, it kind of summarized the end of the 1981 season for the Lakers where Magic had been hurt. They uh, kind of got their act together. There was all this talk about making a trade, making a move with Norm Nixon, turning everything over to Magic. He really wasn't up to speed to go into the final uh, moments here against the Rockets. He throws up an air ball and they lose. Magic doesn't pass the ball. That year, Celtics go on to win. So now, Bird Magic, one championship apiece. And this episode really, it does it does move the Lakers story along fine because you're going to set up the offseason for the, for the next year. But more importantly, you see like a lot of Larry Bird's backstory, different things in different moments, and all of all of which fact check enough. Like I'm not sure you want know, to get into the weeds too much. I don't know how I felt about this sequence, though, where they kind of got real artsy of trying to um, – make it seem like, you know, they're they're almost like obsessed with the Celtics, obsessed with Magic and Larry and that kind of thing. I'm not quite sure I totally get that, but if that's the case, that's the case. So a credits roll and you end up with sort of like this, you know, Larry Bird backstories, you know, of him, 1974. So this is, you know, him quitting school, going home, seeing his dad. You have that backstory a little bit. Then this Magic hallucination, at a basketball camp. Um, because he doesn't feel worth, he feels like a failure, right? And there's Cooper. Cooper's talking about this big raise that he got, which plants to see for magic to ask for money or commitment. And then you have this massive uh conflict that's starting in the Lakers organization, Jerry West. Um uh they're all talking about what went wrong, and they're all having their different stories. Jenny which is a fine story because um, you end up with, with what Jerry now has this little, his little, a little hunt. Her name literally is honey. Um, so the Lager organization is kind of a mess. They don't know what to do. Paul Westhead's head is too big. Um, he wants Mitch Kupka, Kupchak, who nobody else really wants. So all this infighting, all this stuff about what's actually going on, that kind of leads into where we're going to go with the season. And I remember Jerry giving, giving the kids, um, different elements of a team so that they can be contributing to the forum, raking in money, but that because the Lakers didn't go on a run, they're short millions and millions of dollars. Okay. 75 more stuff about Larry, his dad. This is his dad's death. Seeing his dad dead cut to this is Jerry and honey magic and cookie. And then, then, uh, the Celtics celebrating their championship. This is that back and forth. I was talking to you about another flashback. Now this flashback was interesting because this is them showing you, um, <clears throat> um, so Larry stops and he's at, he's playing ball. He's basically picking up trash for a living. He catches, uh, Indiana state catches him doing pickup ball and he's just amazing. So he shows up at a practice to run through. He plays in jeans and there's a little graphic that says, yes, he plays in jeans. Here's the thing. All these moments are sort of part of like Indiana basketball lore of Larry Legend. All of this is fine. Um, and I actually got to give the show credit for actually spending just at least a little bit of time giving us some context about how good Larry Bird is. So I think that's fine. That's fair. And then, of course, this is that this is that whole big thing about, you know, the family stuff and more fighting over that because Paul Westhead's going to make this trade. You get rid of Jim Jones. And this is the flashback of Larry and Red and Magic trying to figure out his place with Jerry. And then, of course, all this other stuff's happening and then trying to smooth it over with, with Norm. So this is sort of like a – it's more of a Larry Bird episode because the Lakers stuff is like filler stuff. It's the we lost and here's where we're going to go before the season starts again. So the season is going to pick up, you know, the, the 1981-82 season, right? So I don't know if you guys want the spoilers on what actually happens. So I can tell you, but well, I guess we'll go there together. Uh, enjoy the show. Really, really enjoy the show. I like it. It it makes me very nostalgic to relive my heyday of being such a massive basketball fan growing up with Magic and Larry. And then, all, of course, all these other players that kind of is in this in this sort of timeline. I was um, 
fun seeing Larry's story kind of manifest. And then the stuff with the Lakers is a lot more of the soap opera drama that I'm not as familiar with. I think it's interesting. I don't feel like there was anything sort of like massively done out of context or anything like that. Everything pretty much fits what we know and how the show has gone. So I'm still in it. Love it. I actually was disappointed that I was caught up. I kind of felt like, man, I wish I had another episode to get to because some of the other shows I'm watching haven't been quite as uh, enjoyable for me. So, Anyway, that's my take on it. Hopefully you guys are watching. If not, maybe some you'd consider. And uh, take care, everybody. I am Pops. Yeah. <laughs> right.